Welcome back to The Body Coach TV. My name's Joe Wicks and this is day number two of my seven days of sweat challenge. A brand new workout every single day for 20 minutes and the challenge is body weight only, no equipment and can I get you through a 20 minute session to build your energy, boost your mood, get you feeling great and that is my goal for today's session. Now there's 20 exercises. We're gonna do 35 seconds on each exercise followed by a short 25 second rest. If that feels too intense, you can do 30 on, 30 off. If you wanna go a little bit harder, maybe do 40 seconds on, 20 seconds rest, but the time it is set for 35, 25. Now, as always, if an exercise comes up which you go, you know what, Joe, I hate that move. It doesn't work well for my body. I'm not a fan of it. You can switch it for something else, like a star jump, a run on the spot or something, or you can skip it completely and just rejoin on the next exercise. So we are gonna do 20 different moves. It's gonna go nice and quick. All you've gotta do is follow along, and as always, push yourself you know, as many reps as you can, but focus on good form and good technique. So the first exercise of today's workout, I call this a walkout. Feet on the floor, we're gonna put our hands on the ground, we're gonna walk nice and slowly towards a high plank position. So from there, we walk back, we touch our toes, we reach up and we repeat that for 35 seconds. We're just gonna warm up our shoulders and wrists a little bit. Here we go, three, two, one, walkouts. Walking into the high plank, walk back, touch your toes, Stretch up, reach those arms up, good. So just really sort of warming ourselves up a little bit here with this one. Good, arms come above the head. Walking out, just into the high plank, hands are stacked under the shoulder. Walking back and stretch up, good work. Remember, get a 25 second rest between each move. But the aim is to do 20 moves in 20 minutes. Good work, right, last 10 seconds. Good, one more, walking out, hands on the ground. Walk back, stand up. Reach and relax, brilliant, right. First one complete, we're off to a good start. Next one we're gonna do is gonna be a hand release press up. Now, what I mean by hand release is we're gonna be on our knees, um, we, we put hands on the ground, we bend down, chest to floor, release the hands and then press up. So this is really teaching us to get right down into the lowest part of the move um, and pressing out, really working our chest. Are you ready? Three, two, one, dropping down, release the hands, press up. Slowly down, release the hands, press up. If you have got the strength, obviously you wanna go for the full push up. Exactly the same thing, we go chest to floor, release hands, press. Chest to floor, release hands, press, good. That's quite obviously much tougher than doing it from the knees. Just do what works for you. As many reps as you can in 35 seconds. If you are doing these full push ups, release the hands, keep the abs tight and engaged. You're really pushing that plank as well, like the core's having to activate rather than coming up. Coming up, arching. Awesome, right, up on our feet. Two, two down, 18 to go. Next one's gonna be a squat into a knee. So we're basically gonna squat down. We squat down and then we're gonna go knee. Squat down, knee. So you're bringing the knee up and across the body. We're trying to get up those feet flat on the ground. As we come up, drive the knee up and across. You're gonna feel your obliques working, the abs are sort of working a little bit there. That's our third move. Coming in. It is a very hot day here in England, so I've got the shirt off. I don't often film with me, uh, when we kit out, but I did a poll on Instagram. 80% said it was okay, it, was, it wasn't inappropriate, so I went with the vote. 20 seconds to go, knee drive. Good, knee comes up and across. Next move, we're gonna go down on the ground for some slow motion mountain climbers. So squat, knee drive, squat, knee drive. Good work, three, two, one, and relax. Right, recover, we're gonna go down into a high plank position now. So obviously mountain climbers, you can think of as a fast exercise where you're pumping the knees really quick, but I actually wanna slow this right down. So hands are locked out and sort of, sorry, arms are locked underneath the um, shoulders, hands are stacked on these shoulders. We're gonna bring the knee up and out, up. So it's really a, a core exercise. You're gonna feel it in your abs, in and out, good, so we're trying to slow this movement down, bring the knee right through towards the elbow, so it comes through up towards your chest. Slowly in, out, really works your abs. We're gonna lay down on our back after this one, we'll do a glute bridge, so we're gonna work our hamstrings and glutes. So we're gonna lay on the back, on the mat. Ah, 10 seconds. Cool, I can feel this one, five, four, three, two, and one. Yes, yeah, so you should really feel that in your abs by bringing that knee up. So now we're gonna do a glute bridge. We're gonna do two, basically the same exercise on each leg. What we're gonna do first of all is 
left foot on the floor, right leg up, and from there, so hands are on the ground, shoulders and heads on the floor, and we drive that left foot into the ground, thinking about your left glute and your hamstring working, off we go. So really drive up, squeeze, work in that left side. <clears throat> Just 35 seconds on the left, 35 on the right. So we switch at the half when we're done. Ah, very good exercise for your glutes, this one. If you want to make it easier, bring this knee towards you. If you want to take it hard, make it harder, take that foot away and just push your, increase that sort of fulcrum where you're putting more resistance through. Your foot flat on the ground, drive through the heel, squeeze the glute, ah, and rest. Ah, oh, very good exercise that. Very good for your glutes. Really hard to escape that really. If you are finding it too difficult because you've got weak glutes, you can do the same thing, just put both feet on the floor and it's just gonna spread the load between both legs. So single legs obviously much harder. Right, here we go. Right foot in the ground now. And we're gonna be doing the same exercise through the right glute, right, right legs working hard now. Okay, so arms pushing into the ground. Head and shoulders are flat on the ground. And we're driving that right foot into the ground. Squeeze the glutes. How high can you drive your hips off the floor? Wow, it really activates the glute, doesn't it? Really deep burn, this one. It's a very deep burn. Ow. Come on, last few seconds. A few more reps. Just push up high. Drive the hips off the ground. Drive up with that right glute. Activate the muscle. Ah. Oh. Right, we're up onto our feet now. I can feel that. I'll tell you that. So you feel that one tomorrow. If you do feel DOMS, you might get that stiffness. You know, it's okay, it's quite normal, but if you really need to, have a day's rest and come back and pick up the next day when you're ready. But there are seven workouts to do in, in succession. Right, next up, we're gonna do some squat pulses now. So, squat down in the squat position. Here we go, so we're pulsing nice and low in slow reps. Here goes the helicopter, so nice and slow. So we're not coming up into a standing position. Then once the tension's on those quads, we're just staying down and pulsing. Feet flat on the ground. Feet flat on the ground and just pulse from that position there. Oh, wow. Now they're burning. Now they're burning. Now they're burning. Right, just keep going. Little pulses. Slow and gentle. Slow and gently. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh. Ah. Horrible exercise, horrible, ghastly little beast of an exercise. Next up, number eight. Eight of 20, we're flying through it now. We're gonna do some T open. This is really good for your sort of shoulders and scapulas and your um, spinal rotation. So nice wide feet, just wider than the mat. Hand in the middle, so form that tripod. Open up, we go left, rotate. And to the right, off we go. This is great for your core, shoulders. The hands just stacked under the shoulder, yeah? Twist, round. You can feel your obliques having to work here. Twist, rotate, twist, rotate. Brilliant guys, 20 seconds to go. Really think about rotating that shoulder, get that arm up nice and straight. Open up the scapula. There we go. We're actually gonna go down on the ground for the next move. Really challenging core exercise next coming up. Last one. Okay, so in that vein of working the obliques, we're gonna think about the side here. So we're gonna go onto our knees. Two options, you can do this from the knees. So knees together, what we do, we lift from here. So we lift and hold. That's quite challenging itself, but that's really working. Imagine you're pulling yourself up. If you've got the strength and you wanna go for it, same thing, but lift and hold. Off we go, so hold for 35 seconds. So arms, shoulders underneath the, sh uh, Elbows underneath the shoulder, arms nice and straight, that nice straight line. And when you start to dip here, when you pull up, you tighten this left side so these oblique muscles happen to work. Oh, it's such an uncomfortable feeling. I hate this exercise, but very effective, very good for strengthening and bringing in that waist and strengthening your, you know, your core, your deep core muscles. Ah, 10 seconds, hold it up. Don't drop, don't drop. Five, four, three. Two and one, ah, ah. This feels like he's ripping the muscles off the bone. Right, same again, right side. We're gonna go right elbow on the ground now. 
Remember, you can do this from the knees. It's still effective, so it's not as much resistance, but you're still working those muscles then, your, your lats as well. Oh, here we go. This is number 10, guys, 10 of 20. Halfway point, here we go. In three, two, one, lift and hold. Come on, let's smash this, 35 seconds. So really straight line now between your shoulder and your feet. So we're not sticking our bum out or forward, it's just nice and neutral. And then just drive and squeeze. Squeeze from here, look. All at the sides there. Ah. Oh, I don't like this. This is an exercise that never feels easier. No matter how many times you do it. Right, last 10. So you're gonna to start to dip down here now, so fight that resistance. Avoid the gravity and lift up. Push it for three, two, one. Ah. Whoa. Right on our feet. Let's give our abs a little break, blimey. So what we're gonna try and do now is a squat jump with a kind of twist. So if you can't do the jumps, you're just gonna do this. You're gonna squat, turn, twist, okay? So you just turn. If you can, you're gonna jump it. So we jump to the right, middle, left. Okay, let's go. So twist and jump, twist, jump. You're just sort of doing a 90 degree twist, back to the center, twist to the right, back to the center, twist to the left, good, and just repeat that. Ah, oh. ah, this burns. Ah. Ah. Oh. Ah. Keep jumping through it if you can. If not, just step them in, step around, and relax. Oh. Oh. Burner. Deep burn, deep burn, right. Recover. Ow. Next exercise, we're gonna do some tricep dips. Now, these are quite tough as well, but we'll give them a go. What we're gonna do here, hands behind us, we just lift ourselves up a little bit like this, and from there we bend and straighten. Off we go, so we're trying to bend the elbows. So this is working the back of the arms here. Bend and straighten. Just a little pulsing movement, it's just bum to the floor, push up. God, it's so hard. I can feel it in my hamstrings too, it's like pulling my hamstrings. Almost there, 10 seconds. Pump, 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 dip, straighten them. Oh, what on earth is that about? That's horrid. Cool. That's a pumperoo, mate. Right, next exercise, we're gonna, oh no, lunge jumps. So if you can't do lunge jumps, we're gonna do some gentle reverse lunges, which is nice and controlled. If you've got a bit more gusto and you want to give it a go, you do the same thing, but you jump and switch in the air. Off we go, so lunges or lunge jumps. Lunges or lunge jumps. Lunges, off we go. So it's stepping back to reverse lunge or jumping in, switching the legs in the air. Remember, stabilize, control it as you go down. This is a much harder exercise. If you're not ready for it and you feel like you're wobbling, please just do reverse lunges, don't injure yourself. It takes a lot of flexibility in your hip flexors as well to get down here. Three, two, one, and rest. Right, we're gonna go down on the ground now for a reverse crunch. We're gonna do an abs exercise now. Oh, flat on the ground. Oh, it is warm. I tell you, I do love the sun and the summer in the UK. So hands by your side, head and shoulders down the ground and we're going to bring our feet towards us now. Oh, that was a back fart from the, <laughs> from the mat, honestly. Oh no, that's going to, we're going to get them all the way through, aren't we? Oh no. Oh, that's embarrassing. All right, so heels to the floor and, oh, come on, honestly. All right, heels to the floor. Oh, for f what a ripper. It's not me. It's coming from the back. It's a sweaty back. 10 seconds. Ah, oh, it's a wet one. Oh. Okay, last few. Stretch. Oh. And, oh. and rest. I'm gonna become an internet meme again, aren't I? Well, have a little breather. 
We're up on our feet now. I did fart once live on YouTube, which didn't didn't go down well, but it went global. It, it reached Australia, which is quite funny. Anyway, it will get you. Right, next up, we've got front kicks. This is number 15, so front kicks are like nice and basic, but if you want to make it faster, you can jump into them like that. So one, two, so you can front kicks like that, or just a bit slower. Again, trying to bring that foot out in front. Off we go. This is number 15. We've got five more moves after this. Day number two, almost complete. Good, 15 seconds. Right, can you pick up the speed a little bit? Can you kick those feet a bit faster? A little bit quicker. Five, four, three, two, and one, and relax. So the heart rate's up now. We're gonna go down for some push-ups. We're actually gonna do some push-ups with a little bit of a shoulder tap. So from the knees, if you like, we go push-up, shoulder tap, push-up, shoulder tap. So you're just tapping across the body, yeah? So like this, so we push up, shoulder cut, uh, tap, shoulder tap to the left, then to the right. Whoa. Off we go. And obviously if you can, do the full push-ups, go for it. Chest to floor, press and tap. Oh. Tap, 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 oh. tap, Ooh. ah, oh. ah, final 10 seconds to go. Come on, let's get a couple more in. Tap, push, tap, Ooh. ah, and rest. Oh, they're hard. Right, we're on our feet now. We've got a few little cardio moves now just to sort of finish with a higher heart rate. Sweating now. Definitely got our, our days of sweating today. Right, here we go. This is a low sprint now, so rather than bringing the knees up high, we're actually doing this. Keep nice and low and fast sprints. So we sort of shuffle the feet, hot feet. Let's go. Nice and fast. Keep that moving. Keep it going. It's on the balls of your feet. Ah. Keep going. Oh. Ah, it burns. Ah. Keep going. 15 seconds. Ah. Ah. Burning my quads. Eight seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Wow. Didn't like them. Ah. Oh, that's a burner, isn't it? Stinger, spicy little number. Next up, we've got three more moves. You're gonna love me for this next one. We're gonna do some burpees, so chest to floor if we can. If you can't do chest to floor, you can just do your half burpees like this. I'm gonna go chest to ground right down, okay? Here we go, so I'm gonna go chest to floor from there. Push up and jump. Chest to floor, push up and jump. Chest to floor. Good, and just do as many as you can now. Come on, it's you against the clock, you're not against me. It's you against your clock. You against your heart rate. How many can you do in this 35 seconds? Come on, benchmark it. Come on. You can do it for five or six or seven, whatever it may be. Just keep going, you've got eight seconds. Come on. Yeah. One more for me, last one. Ah. Last rep. Ah. Well. Love them or hate them, they get your heart rate up, I tell you that, 160. Right, last two moves. We've got an up, down plank now, which is again, another challenging exercise for our upper body and our abs. We're gonna do this in two ways. Either from the knees like this, where you just go down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, or full plank. Let's go, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, and you're trying to avoid the rotation in the hips. Hands are just underneath the hush. So, and you don't want hands out in front of this. Really get your hands like, stacked underneath your shoulders, yeah? So down, down, hand, hand. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Last 15 seconds. Squeeze the abs. Core's working hard now. If you can't do it off the knees, stay from the knees. Keep pushing on the knees. Press down, down, up, up. Ah. Uh, Ah, oh, that's a good one. 
Final move, this is the last exercise of the day. What we're gonna do now, I'm sweating, look. 20 seconds, sorry, 20th move, 35 seconds of high knees, but we go lateral. So lateral along one way, knees up nice and high, lateral along the other way. So really get high knees now, straight back, pump the arms. Come, let's go. Last 35 seconds, knees high, knees up. Get those knees above the waist. Come, pump the arms. Come, it's 20 minutes, this is it. Give me all the effort you got, all the energy you got left. Leave it on the mat. 20 seconds. Go on and again, pump. Use the momentum in the arms. Drive the knees. Okay, let's, let's go. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Ah. Ah. Oh, great workout guys, well done for setting the intention, for committing to day two, to getting through it, that was hard on yesterday, and you might be feeling a little bit stiff, so well done, I really appreciate you coming back. Ah, oh, I'm out of breath. Great little finisher. Again, if you want more support and advice with your nutrition and your diet, check out the Body Coach app, you can do a three week trial, it will transform your life with training programs, progressive, and a tailored meal plan to really get the results. It's called the Apple, sorry, it's called the Body Coach app, and it's amazing. Good luck guys, if you're not seeing me on the app, I'm hopefully seeing you tomorrow for day number three of the seven days of sweat challenge. Peace out and see you there.